Well, from Lizzo to Angelina Jolie, you have definitely seen some of the biggest celebrities wearing her jewelry. Nina Baranato joins us now to talk about the latest pieces and collections that she's been working on. Yeah, what's hot right now? What are you working on, Nina? Oh my gosh. Well, as we all know, Beyonce is putting out a Texas based country album. Amazing. So I'm going to try to work with her again. I'm putting together some pieces that I feel like really have the soul of Austin in them that Fingers crossed, we can get to her. I love it. But you've seen several celebrities wearing your jewelry. What was this like for you the first time you were like, wow, this person is wearing my jewelry on this ginormous red carpet? It's like the first time every time, to be honest with you. Like, I so never cool. can believe it. I'm like, we're just over here in my little studio with our little store in Austin making things and then getting to see them in like a global spotlight is just incredible. You're doing big things. Thank you. So <laughs> proud of you. It's been fun to watch the success and the growth that you've had. What does the Austin community mean to you? And for somebody that's not familiar with your story, how'd you get started? So I actually got started as an apprentice to another jewelry designer. It was just a woman that took me under her wing. and. This month, as we're celebrating Women's History Month, it just reminds me how much the women of Austin and just women throughout my life have really come to support me and been the reason I've been able to grow. You've been such a cheerleader for women. That is kind of where you got started, like you just mentioned, but you're doing something for International Women's Day. How can people support, join in, and... Uh continue on this. Right, if you come by the store, we're gonna have these special pieces that I call the goddess pieces that are really made to make women feel extra powerful. I'm actually wearing one right now. Love. It's one of those things where you just kind of hold it in your hands and you feel a little like zap of electricity and you're just surrounded by this warmth of other women supporting you. Um, they're all gonna be discounted on um, International Women's Day, which is actually March 8th. In the stores and online, 30% off for all of the goddess pieces. What's the inspiration for your jewelry? So a lot of it is just about bringing a piece that can allow women to step out into the world a little differently. Mm -hmm. Whether they just need something to make them feel more confident in their outfit that day, or they need something that's really representative of um, an, a person in mythology that is gonna teach them to be a little stronger, or a story about togetherness. Um, it really is just about what you need for that day. And it's almost like the necklace that you were just showing us it's like meditative, like you can hold it, you're maybe in a, a, a scary situation or something and you, you just have that to hold on to. It's crazy, people message me all the time and they're like, you're not gonna believe what happened when I was wearing the goddess necklace. I held it in my hands and it gave me this sense of calm, it gave me this sense of like comfort and it's just incredible when I hear these stories because I'm like, wow. It makes me realize as a designer I have a bigger purpose and that's really what it is. Absolutely, so cool. Okay, last time we talked, you were working on a two-tone collection, silver and gold. What's hot for spring? Are we still gonna be seeing a lot of silver and gold? Because I love that. Well, first of all, pink is hot for spring. Oh, look at us. <laughs> we didn't even plan this. You wanted to do it first. Pink is the color, apparently. I love it. But two-tone is 100% still in. If we go back to um, Beyonce's country album, you're gonna see a lot of silver. She's been bringing silver back into the spotlight. I was someone that wore nothing but gold, so segueing into a lot of these silver pieces was a little bit of a hard thing for me to wrap my head around. So I was like, let me create these two-tone pieces that allow people to really move their collections around multiple different metal colors and really have a little bit more fun with it. Love it. And uh, I will be wearing two-tone. I feel like I always <laughs> do. And I'm wondering, like, can you wear silver and gold together? You can. Um, you can. You guys have really fun classes coming up in your amazing studio. What are those? So part of us being able to create our store was also always to make it a community hub and a place where other women artists could come and thrive. Um, my studio is still in the back of the store at the Domain. And I want other women artists to come and teach classes and show their crafts there and kind of get new customers as well. So so um, we have two big classes that are happening this March. This is our big launch. Amazing. They're called Sunday School Craft Classes. Love it. The first one is an embroidery class, and I think that one's actually almost sold out. There might be a couple tickets left. Okay. Um, you will actually be embroidering women's figures. And then the second one is for International Cocktail Day. It's actually a candle making and cocktail class. So yeah. neat. So proud of you, Nina. Thank you for being here. Seriously. Thank you. NinaBaranato.com for details on those classes. Check out her lineup of jewels, all of that online.